Polybags. Even if you haven't heard the name before, you'll know what these are. They're the smallest types of LEGO sets that the company produces, packaged not in your standard cardboard boxes, but rather small plastic bags. They're on end caps, at the register, and sometimes LEGO gives them away as order freebies. Polybags are more popular than ever right now, but these little baggies have been part of LEGO's portfolio for decades. So let's take a step back in time and examine LEGO's weirdest polybag sets. Bionicle might be best known for its iconic canister packaging, but that doesn't mean that the theme didn't have its fair share of box sets and even a few poly bags. Our first entry on today's list is called Bionicle Hero Pack, and it includes all manner of strange Bionicle artifacts. The set was released in 2015 as a gift with purchase for Generation 2 of the theme. This might just be the easiest Bionicle set to get your hands on today, with sealed copies on Bricklink going for less than a dollar. Of the nine pieces the package advertises, only six are actually like Lego elements. It allows you to build uh, whatever this is, and interestingly enough, the trans neon orange bionicle mask of fire is exclusive to this set. The set also includes a poster, a pretty epic sticker sheet, and it looks like they're counting the instruction booklet as the ninth piece. Where things get really weird with this polybag though is that there is another one rather like it, just far more rare. After all, for every bionicle hero pack, there must be a Bionicle Villain Pack. It appears this would have been a region-exclusive promotional item that never saw a wider release. Only seven sellers list the item on Bricklink, with prices ranging from 20 to 75 US dollars. A very thorough review from Trema on Eurobricks showcases what the set has to offer, and it's well and truly bizarre, creating an elaborate cardboard and brick stand for an incredible-looking skull mask, exclusive to the set in pearl gold. But yeah, sorry folks, I wasn't about to shell out $50 for a mask. I'll leave that to the experts. But don't worry, that didn't stop me from spending $6 on probably the most underwhelming set of all time. Allow me to introduce you to Coca-Cola Bench Polybag, a set so simple it doesn't even include instructions. This completely mediocre set begs two questions. Why does it exist? And what makes that bench Coca-Cola? Well, this polybag is part of a series of no less than 30, 30, tiny football themed sets released in 2002 in collaboration with Coca-Cola. Some of the sets, if I can even call them sets, are more explicit in their Coca-Cola branding, with stickers and even some printed minifigures. The sets range from two pieces, as seen in Coca-Cola Ball, to 16 pieces in Coca-Cola Light. One of my favorites is Coca-Cola Bottle Case, featuring the only appearance of a crate in that red color. Our next set isn't winning any points for packaging, but that doesn't make me love it any less. Before LEGO introduced Pick-A-Brick, the company used service packs as a way of allowing people to order supplemental parts for custom creations. There are hundreds of set numbers dedicated to packs like these. Some served as electronics replacement kits, others as ways of bulk ordering common elements, and some packs just gave you a variety of extra themed accessories, like 5184 Castle Equipment, or 3750 Life on Mars accessories. Some of these packs were quite special though, like this one here introduced in 2001. It contains 25 identical sand red elements that never appeared in any sets. There's actually several instances of this happening with sand red in particular, like in the case of the 1x2 sand red brick service pack and the 2x4 sand red brick service pack. This polybag makes a fine addition to the sand red collection. Let's take a break from Lego polybags and look at some other toy brands instead. Oh, Oh wait, that is Lego. Ah, uh, behold, Zanap. Lego's attempt to create connects. The Zanap line launched 19 sets in its modest two year run and introduced all sorts of brand new bizarre elements. As un-Lego-like as most of them appear, they are indeed compatible with Technic pins. The theme itself is a huge flop, but it's undoubtedly a fascinating part of Lego history. At least our final set shows some good old-fashioned studs. Belleville is another theme that kind of blurs the line of what LEGO actually is, but it did so more successfully than Zanap. I've got a particular soft spot for Belleville because of the absolutely fascinating pieces it introduced to the LEGO palette, and this polybag, Bears on the Beach, showcases that quite nicely. As the packaging suggests, these were produced for airlines to hand out on flights, and the set includes 17 parts altogether. It really just is a collection of random elements that two bears would bring out for their beach picnic. Even the most basic of bricks here are done up in lovely transparent colors, and that average looking 4x4 orange plate has only been included in five other sets. In all honesty, we've only scratched the surface of what LEGO's lineup of polybags has to offer. Let me know if you'd like to see other weird polybags like these in the future. If you've got suggestions, I'm all ears. But that's all I've got for this time. 
Have yourself a great life, and I'll see you later. <laughs>